Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and we are gonna have some fun today, you guys. We are playing with, this is such a cute stamp set. So today we are featuring, this is part of our online exclusives. We're in this kind of in-between limbo time where you know most everyone has um, probably already gotten what they need for their holiday projects, or if not, you better order them ASAP and probably expedite your shipping, right? Um, um, or like celebration hasn't quite started yet. New mini catalog can't order from there yet, but we have online exclusives. Super cute. This is the, it's called the fluffiest friends stamp set. And look at those cute little critters. They're like all chubby, pudgy, sweet little guys there. Um, I'm probably not even going to say like, let's see, well, maybe I'll try, right? We've got a little bunny. So that'd be great. Like for Easter projects and the little baby chick also. Um, this guy, I don't know. Who is he? Is he like a woodchuck? Maybe he's got those like woodchuck teeth, right? There's a little kitty cat with the little flower pot, um, a bear. So that kind of is like Winnie the Pooh almost, right? And then another teeny tiny little kitty cat with a balloon. And then of course there are dyes, which let me grab those. I didn't even think about showing you guys those for whatever reason. So I've pulled out, um, actually, let me pull this one right here. Where did it go? There's one more floating around. Oh, it got stuck on the back. Okay, so these are the dies. Can I, how does that fit in there? I just used him. You know what's so fun? It's like they need a grid for um, how the dies <laughs> fit back in there. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll just kind of hold on to that one. So yeah, oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so these are the fluffiest friends dies. So you can see, here's our stamp set and then here are our dies. So most all, probably if not all of the images um, in here are like can be die cut with the dies also. Um, so super cute die set too. It comes as a bundle. You can get just the stamp set. You can get that just the dies or you can get the bundle. Again, fluffiest friends stamp set and dies part of online exclusives. So you're not going to see those products in the catalog at all. In any catalog, they're only available online. We've been talking about that. Online exclusives only available online and while supplies last too. So something to think about there also. Then and we are also playing with, and I just, let me, I had the name in my head and then I lost it. Yes, Delightful Floral, beautiful pack of designer series paper, another part of our online exclusive. So you can see all of the beautiful patterns, if I kind of let them flip down one by one. Similar, obviously, colors and tones, just gorgeous, right? And then look at the back of the paper too. Isn't that beautiful? That kind of, it's like a little watercolor wash and lots of beautiful tones there also, again, coordinating with the other side. Again, delightful floral designer series paper. We're gonna play with this today, part of online exclusives. Um, let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, <clears throat> well, as mentioned previously, last chance list, those are out. They've been out for a little while now. Um, I, some things have sold out actually as people have wanted to order and I go to order them and we can't get them any longer. Um, so basically I am like, uh, offering my gently used items. Um, if someone wants to order something and it's sold out, I'm offering that also because, you know, obviously I want you guys to be able to get what you want. And if it's retired and no longer available, you can't get it any other way, right? So keep that in mind. Last chance lists are out. Make sure you get what you need. Last couple of weeks you have until January, I think it's January 3rd, um, to be able to order out of the holiday mini catalog as long as it's still available, right? And then starting on, and you know what? Did I not even bring my catalogs over here? Oh my goodness. Well, you guys, uh, let me, it's funny because I'm like, where did my celebration little brochure go to? I've got my holiday, or not my holiday, my spring mini catalog. Well, I'll show, oh, here it is. Okay, good. I tucked it under because it's tiny and so I can't put it in the normal spot where I put my big catalogs, but this is our new spring mini catalog. Look at how fun, like just festive, right? That little front cover is. And then the new celebration brochure. So I've just like, just like rec like in the last day or two, gotten these catalogs. So I have stacks of these catalogs. I gotta get my name stickers on them. Um, they'll be out on the porch if you need one of these catalogs. Obviously, most of us don't have these catalogs yet unless you're a demonstrator and they were shipped to you. Um, so if you need a catalog, either one of them, both of them, please let me know. I would love to 
to get either the spring mini catalog um, and the celebration brochure sent out to you or it's up at your convenience also, okay? Um, so yeah, and you can start ordering out of here. Let's see, on, I think it's, I have an, I'm trying to read those teeny tiny prints. Yeah, so celebration begins on Thursday, January 4, 2024. And also you'll be able to order out of the spring mini catalog then too. So you guys know celebration, pick a free celebration item out of this mini brochure for every $50 you spend out of this catalog or online exclusives or the annual catalog. Okay, so again, starting Thursday, January 4th. So that'll be here before we know it, even though we're not rushing December and the holidays want to like try, right, to relax and enjoy the holidays as much as possible. Bonnie, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, and then also I wanted to make sure to let you know if you're local and interested in coming to the spring mini catalog and celebration kickoff event, I'm going to be doing that event on Saturday, January 13th, right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. That's anytime from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. that day. We'll be playing with lots of new product from the celebration brochure and the spring mini catalog. So I'd love to have you come join us. Yes, um, I should hopefully will I have my swaps I hope I'll have my swaps back by then so I'll have lots of cute project ideas and whatever I come up with um, between now and then too I'll have those ideas out there for you so you can see lots of cute projects made with our new celebration and spring mini catalog products okay so if you're interested let me know if you want more details again Saturday January 13 is the spring mini catalog kickoff celebration event okay um, let's see. I have a bunch of stuff I want to show you guys, like when I flip the camera down. So I'm like kind of just cruising right through things. I think we're going to do our first drawing right now. So don't forget your name is right here. Oops, I just flipped something on the floor. I'll grab those in a sec. Um, <clears throat> your name is in this basket right here. If you signed up for my email list on Constant Contact, the link for that is always right above this Facebook Live video, right? Then also, if you share this video, you get one entry. And if you share the video to a crafting group you're a part of, you get five entries into the drawing, okay? So right here, we will toss these names around. And oh, that's right. Actually, one lucky winner will receive. This is the Calypso Coral, the braided linen trim. Again, your name is in here, right? So if you share this video uh, to your page or to a crafting group, or if you sign up for my email list. And let's see, we have, oh my gosh, one, yeah, only one in my hand. All right, one lucky winner, ah, Miss Sabina Miller. All right, congratulations, Sabina. You are the proud new owner of the Calypso Coral Braided Linen Trim. So I will get that put out on the porch for you this afternoon, all right? Thank you for your shares, ladies, and signing up for my email list. Um, okay, now I'm going to bend over. Do you guys hear me like creaking? Uh, right? <laughs> it's very hard to bend over these days, right? <laughs> Bonnie, thanks for the share too. Um, okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, so we've kind of gotten into this rhythm generally of every other Friday. So we will be back live right here on Friday, December 29th will be our next Facebook Live. So just after Christmas, like at the end of the week of Christmas, we will be giving away, this is the burlap ribbon. You've got that cute little white stitch on each side of that burlap ribbon right there. So this is what we will give away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this video right here, one entry, if you share it to your uh, Facebook page profile, five entries if you share it to a paper crafting group that you're a part of and then another entry if you sign up for my email list your name will go in the drawing to win that beautiful it's very very cute i love the stitching anything with stitching dyes ribbon any of that love that stuff so yes your name will be in that drawing to win um that ribbon on our next facebook live two weeks from today all right um, oh, so let's see. Oh, I want to show you guys. So I got some cute cards. And actually, I'm just thinking about that. I have not checked my mail in a while. This week has gotten like crazier than I thought it was going to be. Well, you know what happened. Um, I have been working on my Christmas cards. I have like over 200 Christmas cards that I handmade and then addressed and I'm sending out to you all. So I am very, very excited about this. I, I have most of them out, but this whole week has been like in between other things, trying to get all my holiday Christmas cards mailed out to everybody. So that has taken me away from being able to 
do lots of other things, um, like check my mailbox, right? So if I have any other cards that you've sent me, I will share those on our next Facebook Live. But in the meantime, I do have a couple of cute cards to share with you guys. So this is from my good friend, uh, Jennifer Bradley. So this is a friend of mine that we do the craft o -rama together, the girls get together where we craft all weekend. And so she made this super cute card. Um, what does it say? Santa was here. Love that. It's kind of a fun sentiment, right? With that Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper and then some of that Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green, that glimmer paper. So, so cute. Cute, right so I love all the, all the polka dots all the fun oh and then she stamped and then I love this how she used a sticky just said Merry Christmas Jennifer did the stamping on the inside so I can use that a card I can a card again right we can re-gift our cards which I love I'm like a recycle queen these days so I love re-gifting reusing repurposing and sharing with someone else so that'll be a fun card that I can share with others and then also Miss Beth Martin who is a part of our inspired stampers team She's always so sweet. Whenever she drops anything off on the porch, she always leaves a beautiful handmade card. So this was a card that she left for me recently. And these are actually, these are some of those wooden elements. Um, so they're kind of a natural wood color, but she colored those probably with her blends to kind of match the tones in the card also. So I think that is just beautiful, right? And then, oh, oh yes, it was a, I went to open it and I'm like, oh, that's right. I'm okay. This is, this is in our future of casing this card, right? So look at that. Can you guys see that fun fold, right? So I'll show you kind of from the side there too. So it's probably, I haven't even measured, but probably pretty close to a full, like 11 inch tall piece of basic white cardstock. And then she's got a couple of, if you see, those are probably blueberry bushel, right? Five and a half by four and a quarter pieces. And then that's just kind of mounted on there. So isn't that cool? So watch for that. I'm sure we'll be making that card at some point because I love, 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 love the fun folds, right? So very, very cute. A beautiful Christmas card again from Miss Beth Martin. So thank you ladies for your cards. I truly appreciate those. All right, I'm gonna scoot those over here. So I think, are we ready? Yeah, let's do our next drawing for, okay, this is the <clears throat> Sending Cheer stamp set. So if you ordered through me online using the host code, your name is in the drawing to win the Sending Cheer stamp set. You also get to pick from the, oops, those fell on the floor too. I need a bigger table apparently, right? Uh, so the demo design dream team PDF tutorial for December or our free embellishment for December, which are the blooming pearls. So you get to pick from either one of those. Plus in December only, you also get an additional five free handmade cards from me and a six by six designer series paper sampler. So, so much good stuff as a thank you. And obviously you always get the two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So like, look at all of this that you can get for free ordering through me. I can't even like lift it up, right? So as a thank you, here's all that you can get from me, right? Plus your name is in the drawing right now to win that sending to your stamp set. So one lucky winner. Uh, yep, I do have the names in there. Okay, I was trying to make sure I got those dumped out and switched out, right? Okay, so thank you for your orders. I will be sending your packages, your thank you packages out. Uh, to you once we do this drawing right now, right? Okay, so who is the lucky winner of the Sending Cheer stamp set? We have one in my hand, Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the proud new owner of the Sending Cheer stamp set. I will get that sent out to you, so congratulations. All right, let's see. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough room for everything. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we will be giving away the year to celebrate stamp set if you order online through me. Again, I'll use or I'll give you the host code in just a couple minutes, but it's also always I am tongue tied today. It's also always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so GatheringInspiration.com. So here is this fun stamp set. So year to celebrate. So we've got the little Happy New Year. We've got a congrats, um, Happy Birthday to you, and then some fun kind of party. Um, what are those like blow horns, right? Um, and lots of different um, kind of 
font, not fonts, like, hey, Stace, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Yay, I'm so excited to see your name pop up on here. So yeah, year to celebrate. This is a stamp set we will give away on our next Facebook Live if you order online through me. You're also going to get the projects that I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit right here on our Facebook Live, okay? All right, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just trying to get myself organized. Is that ever even possible, right? Okay, so I think we are ready. Yeah, because I want to show you guys I have all of our new designer series paper. I have not even opened it yet. Well, I like kind of, I opened it, but I haven't even pulled any of it out because I wanted to show you guys as I'm seeing it for the first time. I want you guys to see it for the first time too. So, all right, let me get things cleared off a little bit here. Um, and I'm just checking my notes, right? I don't think I missed anything. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. Okay. Turn your heads away. We are going to fly through the air. I'm going to flip the camera down and we are going to take a look at our brand new designer series paper. Okay. Here we go. Oops. I don't think I did that right, but oh, wow. Well. Okay. Flip the camera down. Okay, you guys can all see me, right? All right, I'm gonna give you, here is our host code while I get myself organized for a sec. So this is our host code for December. If you would like to order through me, which you know I always truly appreciate. Okay, I need a quick sip of water and then... <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you guys first. We only have, this is different, right? We only have one pack of 6 by 6 designer series paper. Usually we have more than that, but this one is called the Lighter Than Air designer series paper. So super cute little hot air balloon paper, right? Okay. All right, so here is the front side. We're going to just kind of flip. So we've got some hot air balloons. Ooh, and then some cute stripes. I love stripes. Some polka dots. Oh, my gosh. The little clouds there. So it looks like maybe eight sheets. Some kind of pale yellow. I'm going to say lemon lolly. And you guys know on the back of the, oh, my gosh, more polka dots. So cute. This looks like fun baby paper, doesn't it? Um, more polka dots. Ooh, some little diamond shapes, some scallops. Oh, and then some diagonal stripes. Oh my gosh, this paper is so cute. I love that. Again, the lighter than air designer series paper. And you guys know this, right? That it, they always give you all of the colors that they used in here. And I won't do this with all of them, but just so you guys know, this one uses Azure Afternoon, Balmy Blue, Bubble Bath, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. So those are all the coordinating colors. So that's what makes it so easy to create our beautiful projects, right, is knowing exactly what colors. So go pull your pool party or balmy blue, I'm not sure. That's probably balmy blue, I'm going to say, or your fresh freesia, right? Those colors work perfectly with the designer series paper because they give you a cheat sheet right on the back of each package of our designer series paper. Okay, so again, that's the only six by six designer series paper. Then, oh, and actually let me tell you before I forget, because I'm afraid I'm going to do that, right? I am doing a designer series paper share with all of our um paper from the mini catalog and I kind of finagled a way to get you all of the celebration papers as well. So keep that in mind. You get a sample, a quarter of a pack of all of our paper from the spring mini catalog and the celebration brochure. And I think there are like five packages of uh, designer series paper in the celebration um, offering this time. So for $43, you can get a quarter of a pack of all of our paper, again, in the mini catalog and the celebration brochure, quarter of a pack for $43. If you need it shipped to you, I do ship those priority mail so it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Um, so keep that in mind. Let's see, what else do you guys need to know? First paper share, let me know ASAP. I'm accumulating orders as soon as, <clears throat> excuse me, I can put my first paper share order in on January 4th. I will do that. And then I will get everything cut and packed and prepped and shipped back out to you as soon as I can. Final date to order a paper share is going to be Friday, February 9th. So you do have some time, but obviously the sooner you order, the better because it seems like our paper tends to kind of go unorderable 
kind of on and off throughout the time. So if I can get an order in in the very beginning, then I can kind of guarantee that you get all of the paper. Otherwise, some not that I can't get it to you, but sometimes there's a delay in getting the paper to you. Okay. Ah, Stace. All right. Count me in for the paper share. Okay. I got you down, Stace. <laughs> awesome. All right. So this is the B mine. Again, these are all 12 by 12 designer series papers. So I'm going to just, let's see if we kind of hold it like this. So the cute little bumblebees and the little gingham. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Maybe we'll kind of angle it, right? So you guys can see. I love, so this one I actually had kind of peeked at because we did our make and takes at on stage. Uh, with this designer series paper. So this is one that I had seen before. Kind of part of the um, Valentine offering in the new spring mini catalog, but look at how cute, sweet, sweet, sweet this paper is. So lots of, like you can see, um, no bumblebees on this side, but lots of bumblebees on the opposite side, right? So very, very cute. Love that one. All right, we're gonna just kind of toss those down there. Okay, so next we have, this is the Forever Love. This is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a um, <clears throat> specialty paper. And Bonnie, okay, I've got you down for the paper share too. Awesome. You guys are going to love this paper. I just know, right? Even though I haven't even seen it. I, it's always so much prettier in person than it is in the catalog. So this is like a really nice kind of gold foil. I think it's gold, right? So one side has a gold foil and then the other side, I'm going to say maybe that's pretty peacock based on this kind of looking like pretty peacock right there too. Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, look at this paper. It's gorgeous. This looks like Moody Mauve, I'm going to say. So pretty peacock and Moody Mauve. It looks like lots of pretty peacock foils. Aren't those gorgeous, right? I love that pattern too. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Wow, there are lots of pretty peacock foil papers in here. And then kind of, I'm going to call that petal pink is what I'm thinking. And again, I could consult my... Yeah, so I think are all of the others, I think, I want to just double check that. I think all of the others are pretty peacock foils. So if you like, yeah, <clears throat> if you like pretty peacock, this is your paper pack right here. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely beautiful. So again, we'll like triple check that because it's only a few. Yeah, Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Very Vanilla, and definitely with some gold accents there too. Okay, <clears throat> Oh, next, this one looks super cute. Okay, this one is called the Just Kidding Designer Series Paper. These cute little kiddos on there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, we're gonna scoot that out of the way for a sec. I feel like that's gonna keep flipping around. <clears throat> okay, so here, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, it's so cute. It's like the little kiddo in an apple or something. Okay, and then some stars on the back of that one. Oh, oh, she's spilling her bowl of cereal. Uh-oh, running with the sugar. Oh, boy, okay. That's like holiday baking time right there, right? Oh, she made a cute little something. She's got a little spatula there. Oh, my gosh, this is super cute, too. Ooh, okay, so that's kind of, these are um, more simple patterns, but check this one out, the little dude with the hula hoop. Oh, he's fishing. Oh my gosh, so many cute things, but check. All right, we're gonna have to pull this one out. Curious to see. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, and so they've cut those. So this would be six by six, and then these are all gonna be four by sixes right here. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at the patterns on here, right? I guess that does go, which way does that go? It's almost like you're looking at like from way up high or something, right? Gonna have to work on that one. <laughs> my eyes aren't quite seeing it the way um <laughs> it's probably they're probably supposed to be seeing it okay so that was the back side of oops nope there's another one all right let's see right yeah that's the hula hoopers okay so here we go they they look similar that's why oh little popcorn and a bedtime story <laughs> that's one of my favorite things right there Oh my gosh, and then another fun kind of simple pattern on the back there. Some more, oh, little kiddos with their bunny and their puppy and their kitty cat. Oh, this is super duper cute too. Oh my gosh, how fun is this going to be, right? And love all those um, kind of bold patterns on the back too. Very, very cute. Right? So again, a quarter of a pack, which means I'm going to take all this paper, I'm going to cut it into six by 12, and that's what you're going to get, a quarter of a pack, a six by 12 piece. Other than the one paper that's six by six, you're going to get a couple sheets of that. So this is the Nature's Sweetness uh, Specialty Designer Series paper. So let's check this one out. Oh my gosh, oops, I forgot one, but I think that'll be okay because I probably got the other one. <clears throat> 
more, I'm going to say gold foil accents here on this specialty paper. Ooh, okay. I'm trying to remember the, I don't have the names of any of these sweets down yet. Um, but I, I think I know it's from a kind of a really natural tones. This is really pretty. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, some, it's almost like, um, Mm, newspaper print maybe but with splotches of gold on it can you see that right and these are beautiful too right are you guys seeing the backside very well so there's the gold wow right and then um oh that's more like kind of like journal almost right oh this one's cool too and that's a gold foil so one side all has gold foil Ooh, that's beautiful also let's pull that one out and take a look at that one right Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so this we definitely saw on stage because you can cut these and these can go right on a card front, right? So it's going to be basically four by six and then you'd trim it down a little bit. So it end up probably being like four by five and a quarter, something like that um, would go perfectly on a card front. That is awesome. Okay, and I think there's one more pattern in this one. Ooh, we'll turn this this way. There we go. Some kind of cursive writing with a gold um, <clears throat> gold foil on there also. So let's peek at the colors in this one too. They say we are using, yes, Pebbled Path, Pecan Pie, and Gold are the colors in that one. Okay, all right. We have, I don't know how many, let's see, how many paper packs are there in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, I think, if I counted those right. About thirteen, give or take. <laughs> one one either way. Ooh, okay, what was this one called? This is a lavender something. Perennial Lavender Designer Series Paper is the name of this one. How about that, huh? Beautiful. And you've got the back side there. Okay, oh, these purples are so pretty, right? Let's see, what's that one? Oh my gosh, yeah. The ladies were talking about this one um, at our team meeting, how this is their favorite, and they think it's gonna be so popular. Like this, this is the one they counted as, this is the one that's gonna sell out, like this suite. These things are gonna go unorderable. Um, quickly, they think, oh, that's beautiful too. Love those kind of shades of blue, blue greens there also. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pack of paper. So now I'm kind of curious about the colors in most of these, right? Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis. Yes, lots of purples. Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Starry Sky. Beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> what do we have next? This one is the Poetic Expressions 12 by 12 paper. So let's check this one out now. Okay, so there's one side. That one. Oh, this is very pretty too. Dainty. I'm going to call this dainty. Hi, Mike. How are you? <laughs> See you in Frankenmuth in just a little while. We have decided we're going to go um, check out Bronner's in Frankenmuth. That won't be a crazy place to be on a Friday in December, right? But it'll be lots of fun. Get in the holiday spirit, right? As I'm talking about this paper that isn't holiday at all, right? <laughs> Beautiful though. This is very, this is uh, cute and dainty, I'm going to say. And then this is just gorgeous. The beautiful kind of gold. Ooh, I love that pattern too. Like a kind of a mosaic pattern, right? So these are, yeah, these are very pretty. I'm going to say that's probably Moody Mauve also, right? Okay, beautiful. And then what is next? We have, this one is like a rock and roll. What is this one called? Yes, it's called rock and roll. How about that, right? That makes sense with those cool guitars, right? I think it's all, is it all black and white? Sorry, I keep flipping back and forth, but let's see. Yeah, it just says basic black. So basic black and white are the colors in this paper pack. Okay, so there's that side. Oh, and then they've got some funky patterns in here too. Ooh, okay, this is going to be good for masculine cards, right? We always need, and there's another one, like a tool paper also. Oh, that's kind of cool too, right? Okay, these are awesome. I can see some fun ideas popping into my head that other people are going to create and I'm going to appreciate. <laughs> I love this pattern too, right? Okay, so kind of simple black and white but like funky cool at the same time all right are we in the celebration paper we might be is this sunny days yes okay so now these are all packs of paper that you can get for free during celebration with your 50 i think they're all with 50 dollar order i'll confirm that 
But I'm going to give you, again, I'm going to give you um, a six by 12 piece of each of these to get a quarter of a pack of all. Yes, I've got five more. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Five packs of Celebration Designer Series paper. Okay. So this one, like we said, was called Sunny Days with some clouds apparently too. Cute, 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 right? Some pretty flowers. Oh, that one's fun too. Like those flowers there and then the little rainbows. Oh, some strawberries. Those are cute also. And what are these? Are butterflies. You can kind of tell upside down, right? Oh, and then some more flowers. Those are like fun, kind of bold, geometric. Ooh, some cute cherries too. Oh my gosh, this is a fun pack of paper for sure, right? Called Sunny Days. So again, celebration offering free with a $50 order starting January 4th, Thursday, January 4th. Okay, so next we have, this one is called Flight and Airy. Let me make sure. Yep, Flight and Airy. Again, another celebration paper. You can get this one free with a $50 order during celebration and a quarter of a pack in the Designer Series Paper Share. Oh, that's cool. That looks like maybe pecan pie. Oh, those beautiful birds, right? Oh, that's a beautiful pattern. This is gorgeous too. It's funny, I almost didn't even see the birds at first. They're just so kind of soft watercolored. But yeah, these beautiful bluebirds sitting on branches. Now I see them. It's funny how your eye can do that, right? Some more birds there. Beautiful. And then some kind of watercolor wash on that side. Another kind of dainty floral print on that one. And then what else do we have? More birds. Cute, cute, cute. Oh man, these patterns are, this kind of reminds me, this looks like the backside of the paper that we're using on our projects that I'm gonna show you guys in just a little bit. I think it was called Delightful Floral. All right, next we have, this is the Softly Stippled. Again, another free with a $50 order paper pack during celebration. So starts January 4th, that's a Thursday, goes through February 29th, it's leap year this year. So we have a February 29th. I remember when I lived in Chicago, I worked with a man that was born on what leap, on a leap year, leap day, February 29th. And I always thought that was so strange. Like sometimes, you know, every four years you have a birthday, right? So maybe he's, he's really young then, <laughs> but I always was like, well, when do you celebrate your birthday? <laughs> if there's no February 29th, right? Oh, this paper is beautiful too. So I'm like chit-chatting along here, right? Um, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous really like this paper a lot, which is, this is different for me. This isn't one that I would maybe typically be so drawn to, but I'm really liking that a lot, actually. Softly Stippled, that one was called. And this is the most adored Celebration Designer Series paper. Okay, now let's see this one. Again, another freebie with a $50 order. I'm curious to see. It's going to tell us, oh, Ooh, Flirty Flamingo Real Red and Gold. Now I'm curious because I was just seeing the gold. So there are some fun bright colors in here. Ooh, okay, there's Flirty Flamingo. Oh, interesting. I remember we had some paper like this um, during celebration another time too. That's really cute too. So this would be fun. These are good um, like for Valentine projects also with the kind of reds and pinks on the back, which must be their idea because those are some cute hearts there. And then if you don't need Valentine's, you can use this gold foil side. Oh, that's cute too, right? So gold foil flowers on that one, right? And then some hearts there. These are some more floating flying hearts. Oh, that's cute, that plaid. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this paper is fun, fun, fun. Okay, I'm kind of digging these pink, pink and red sides myself, but I can see having some fun with the other side too, with that gold too. Oh my gosh, you guys, this paper. Okay, one more pack to share with you guys. So this is the Trusty Toolbox. Again, a celebration. Where did I, I opened these, but now I'm like, where did I, or did I not open this one? Maybe I got so excited. I try to do it. No, well, apparently I did not open this one. Okay, well, that's why I'm struggling with <laughs> trying to, okay, so here we go. We're gonna do it right now. Oops, there we go. Okay, trusty toolbox. Last pack of paper, another final freebie with your celebration order. $50 order gets you this paper for free. Trusty toolbox, super cute. This is gonna be another great one for masculine projects, right? So lots of screwdrivers there, right? Ooh, hammers, those are cute. And just, um, <clears throat> just some kind of simple, ooh, that's fun too, right? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I like that one too. That's making my eyes kind of go cross-eyed there. Oh, it's funky. Yeah, the little stripes on there. That's very cool. Huh, cute, cute, cute. And then rulers. That's that's super cute. Hi, Robin. How are you? Thanks for joining us. And then one more right there. So Robin, I just went through all of our designer series paper. So again, I'll do that quick recap. So we have, I'm going to do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so it's 13 packs of paper in our paper share, right? You get a quarter of a pack. So again, cut it in half, six by 12. You're going to get um, a six by 12 piece of each of the papers in our paper pack. So a quarter of a pack of the paper for $43. That gives you all five of our celebration papers also. So you get a true sampling of all of our designer series paper in the spring mini catalog and the celebration brochure. So let me know if you're interested. You can email me, um, text me, whatever, uh, comment right on here if you would like a paper share. Um, I am emailing about it. I believe I've already sent an email. So there is a link to pay through PayPal or you can do cash, check, credit card, whatever you like to do. Hi, Gwen. How are you? So glad you can join us. All right. I think, ladies, we are ready. I'm going to check, double check my notes. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to get my grid paper out and we are going to make some cute projects again with the fluffiest friends stamp set. So don't forget if you're ordering online to use this host code right here to get all of my Facebook live freebies. Okay, need another quick sip of water. <laughs> and let's see, I'm going to get my things together here. What do we need? Some, oh, I already have my scissors. Okay, adhesive, that's what I need. Okay, all right, which one are we gonna do? We're gonna do this one first. All right, I have my stamps right here. Okay, you guys, this one is super duper cute. So again, fluffiest friend stamp set right here, right? So this is our first card, a sweet, sweet, sweet with that little bunny, right? So a little happy birthday card. So it's supposed to stand. Yay, it did. Okay, good. It's cooperating with me. I love that too, right? Okay, so this will fold up just like this. So it'll go flat. <coughs> Excuse me. So that it'll go right in an envelope, right? All right. I got a little tickle. I have to grab my mint because I don't want, we're not doing any coughing today on this Facebook Live. Okay, so, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys this. So actually what I want to share too is, so like I said earlier when I showed Beth's card and it was a fun fold, I love fun fold cards and I love receiving them or making them wherever. So this is one that I made a couple of years ago. So same idea, right? I just cased the layout and used some new products to kind of share what we've got going on today. So yes, so so cute, right? So this one will also stand up. Oh, maybe not quite as well. Oh, and then the backside too. We actually stamped a sentiment on there too, but that's where you can write your sentiment is on the backside there. Okay, so let's get our things out here. I tell you dimensions. It's funny because it took me a sec <laughs> to kind of figure them all out the other day when I was getting this card ready. Um, but I think I have them all now. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully that's the case. All right. All right. So we are going to, so this card base, Erica, hello and welcome. Okay. So this, if you can see this piece right here does this, 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 and then there's a little flap back in there too, okay? So you are going to take, this is a piece of fresh Freesia cardstock that I've already cut it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, right? Then along the 11 inch side, we are gonna score it at one inch, two and a quarter, four and a quarter, and five and a half inches, okay? So this card, when I fold along all my score marks, is going to go like that, okay? So that's gonna be step one for our card, right? Okay. I was looking at that like, is that the same? But yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I guess we'll find out in a sec, right? Okay, then this piece is for the back of 
our card measuring four by five and a quarter in basic white cardstock. Again, all of the measurements, the colors, item codes, products, everything that you need to know to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And then don't forget too, if you use that host code and order through me, you're gonna get both of these projects that I'm sharing with you guys as a thank you from me for your order. Okay, this is a piece of fresh freesia cardstock, and that is this one right here. So there's a little flap back in there, if you guys can see that, and then here and here, okay? So this piece of fresh freesia measures four and three quarters by three inches, and then along the long four and three quarter inch side, you're gonna score it at a half and one and three quarters, okay? So that is going to go like this right there. You guys can kind of see that, right? It's gonna kind of, trying to hold that. It doesn't want to doesn't want to stay very well for me, right? Okay, next, let me tell you about my designer series paper. Oh, yes, and I did show you guys that earlier, right? That beautiful designer series paper. This is the Delightful Floral, I think. Right now I got to remember. Yes, Delightful Floral. So again, here are all of those. I did show you guys these, right? Because I just love this paper. Now it's not backwards or upside down or inside out or any of those things, right? So here's the back side of that too. Okay, again, that's an online exclusive, but it's still available, so you can still get it. So this one measures four by four, so that's that piece going inside there. This one right here measures four by one and three quarters. And then we have a piece of basic white and uh, bubble bath, okay? So basic white cardstock measures two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then our bubble bath is two and a half by two and a half, okay? Um, let's see. So, and what my little trick was, I actually die cut that circle out of this piece. And when you layer that on top, you can't even tell there's a circle behind there. So I'll show you that in a sec too. Um, so I think we are going to do, 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 do what do I want to do first? I think we're going to do, well, I want to do this one little bit of stamping here. Let's do these two things. Okay. So with our fresh freesia ink that of course coordinates with our fresh freesia cardstock, Philomena, hello and welcome. Glad you can join us today. Okay. So, oh, let me show you guys too. I used, I love this stamp set. It's an, kind of an oldie but a goodie. It's been around for a bit. The Pansy Patch stamp set, right? So we use this happy birthday. There's just something about this font that I absolutely love. And then on the back, um, I stamped this wishing you a little extra happiness just because you are you. Okay. So those are the sentiments again from Pansy Patch. So we are going to use our stamp. We're going to ink that up really well. It's a light enough color um, that I like to make sure that I got to get enough ink on. There you go. So wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. All right. And then our little happy birthday. We are going to, uh, but nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Look at that sentiment. So cute. Okay, that's great, Philomena. We actually showed all of the designer series paper in the new spring mini and celebration brochure. Doing a paper share, if you're interested, it's $43 for a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the new spring mini and celebration catalogs. <clears throat> So yeah, definitely take a peek at the replay if you um, are interested in all those paper packs because they, lots of gorgeous paper, that is for sure. Okay, so we are going to use, um, where are my dies? Right here. These are the Stylish Shapes dies. And actually, these are all the ones we're not using today. These are the ones we are using today. <laughs> How about that, right? Okay, so I want that circle and that label, and then we're gonna use these two. I'll show you those again in a little bit. We're gonna use those two on our next card. So maybe I'll scoot those right over here. So put them on my next. Okay, so you wanna make sure you do this right in the middle because then when you put this piece over top later, you won't even be able to tell that you die cut um, a little circle out of that. So kind of a fun little trick if you're low on paper or just want to, you know, do what you can to save the environment, right? <laughs> Which is kind of my... I don't know, you know, every little bit is kind of where I'm at with that. Okay, so here is our stitched shape circle. And then don't throw this piece away. We're gonna use that one too, right? Okay, and then we've got our cute little happy birthday. So sweet, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot these guys out of the way. Now we are 
going to stamp our sweet little bunny right here, right? We're gonna stamp him in black memento ink. I'm gonna grab my little stamp and pierce mat. So I think this is great to use when you're stamping. I wanna make sure I get a nice um, stamped image there. Pressing firmly, but I'm not wiggling or rocking. You know what? I did that again. So that happened the other day. Okay, so we are going to, I wonder, maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I need to have a harder surface. I'm going to press right in the middle so I can make sure to get that. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So there was my little hack for saving paper, and it did not work. Not happy with either of those, so we are going to stamp one more time. All right, so we're going to make sure. Maybe I need to kind of... It's funny because, there, maybe I just needed to pick it up. I think that's gonna work better now, right? I'm gonna press firmly right in the middle to try to get that. There we go! Look at how cute he is, right? With a little cupcake, like a little birthday cupcake, right? Okay, yeah, because that one just did not work very well. Okay, that's all right. So we're gonna die cut that again real quick. Now I gotta find that die again, though. <laughs> oh, good, it's right there. Okay, shoo -wee. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Oops, sorry. I think I just bumped the camera, didn't I? There, I'll crank that back through there. Get that out of the way. Okay. All right. So now we get to do a little bit of coloring. So I've been, I've been doing a lot more coloring lately, and there's just something so fun about it. So we're going to bring this one back into view so we can see. So the main thing, actually, let's do, we are going to do our other colors first, and then we'll come back in with our gray. So this is bubble bath. We're just kind of coloring. Okay, we're going to try to just dot right on the little toes there, little pink toes, right? And then, so that was bubble bath. We are going to use a pool party for the cupcake wrapper, okay, and then actually we're gonna use this bubble bath. Again, I forgot to do that, the little, we're gonna do a pink cherry there. And then we've got some lemon lolly, because this is a lemon cupcake maybe, right? So we're gonna color in the cupcake right there. And then also I forgot, we need to do a little pink nose on our bunny. So we're going to do that right there. Okay, then we're going to come back with this one is, I'm going to make sure, yes, a smoky slate. Light smoky slate marker. So I'm going to just kind of going around the edges, and then I'm going to come back in and fill in with the, so this is kind of the bullet tip. So anywhere that is, there's not much room <laughs> for error or around the edges, I'm gonna use the bullet tip. And I'm gonna warn you that this probably isn't gonna be perfect coloring because um, I can't <laughs> I can't see it very well, ladies. <laughs> my, my head really wants to be right down in there and it can't because then you wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, and so I'm just doing the best I can here. <laughs> <laughs> and hoping for the best that this thing turns out well enough. Okay, so we're going to flip this over, and I'm going to start using... So the other thing that's happened is this, this marker got really well loved at a class that I had um, because it's, it's a little smushy, I guess I would say, um, just know that, that you don't have to press hard. And sometimes people, I think, get a little aggressive with their coloring and press too hard, and then you really kind of ruin the tip of your marker. So that's a little bit also where we're at. I realize that. I'm like, oh, and I am um, I colored the pink, so I'm, I'm trying not to go over it too much with gray, but I'm also not worrying, like on his nose. Uh, yeah, so this one would probably color in a little bit better if it weren't so smushy, but you get the idea. 
All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think that looks too bad. Okay, so there we go. There is our cute little bunny. What do we think, right? He's not too bad. If I, <laughs> I might go back and fix him up after we're off camera <laughs> and I can get my head right down in, in there and see a little bit better. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to, uh, actually, let's scoot that back. So let's let's get to making our card base here, right? Okay, so we're gonna use this little guy. So where's my adhesive? I did bring that over, yes, okay. All right, here we go. So here is the base of our card. So we really only need to put adhesive on this piece right here. So we're gonna do that. We wanna use a good amount of adhesive kind of all along the edges. Now, what I kind of learned was I kind of got that set up so it's even on either side, but the biggest thing is to make sure, Bernice, hello and welcome, that you this card needs to be able to be flat, to be mailed. So that's the double, final double check that you got that inside flap there, right? That one right there, where you want it on the back of the card card base right is if that flips down like if you fold this down and it and it gets crunched up then you need to readjust this inside piece so don't press too firmly until you make sure you've got it where you want it right then we're going to add our designer series paper so cute this paper is just this is also very pretty dainty paper i love this pattern in particular right oh and you know what maybe i did need to do but let's see right we're going to add some adhesive here. I feel like maybe, yeah, I should have. Okay, so note to self, and if we're careful and nice to it, it will come off there. Amy Jo, hello and welcome. Okay, so we should have put this piece, so when you go to make this card, put your designer series paper on first, and then, and you know what you might even be able to do is just fold that straight down and press firmly, and that's gonna work, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that's a very helpful, right? There we go. Okay, so there's the beginning of our card, right? Next, we are going to put some adhesive on our bubble bath piece. This is still a good piece right here, or it would be kind of fun, you could use that kind of, that circle there also. You could have some fun with that and be like a little window that Maybe that bunny peeks through. That would be fun also, right? Okay. Next, we are going to add some adhesive to this piece right there. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> and then also along the bottom of that piece right there. So I kind of wanted to put this where I liked. So I'm trying to get it kind of centered side to side there, right? And then same idea where this is gonna fold down. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do another double check and make sure, because it was looking a little crooked there. Okay, so that's the idea. So I just laid that down on there and that with the adhesive on the back behind that piece is good. So now I'm gonna press firmly there, okay? So there, we can kind of, it kind of flip flops, right? So then you know you've done it correctly. Oops, <laughs> my adhesive is popping through those circles there, or that circle, which is not a problem. Okay, so next we are gonna just lay that right down there. We're gonna add that one. And then we are gonna put some dimensionals behind our little bunny. I'm gonna add him on. Okay, and then we're gonna put one, and I like to, because I don't want um, it to be kind of lopsided, so I'm gonna put a dimensional on this side, and I'm gonna just add some adhesive on the other side, and I'll show you why in just a sec, okay? So we've got our little bunny we're gonna put right there. This could be a cute, like, welcome baby card too, couldn't it, right? And so I'm gonna peel that one off. There, so I don't wanna put a dimensional behind this side because it's already kind of going on top of the bunny that has a dimensional behind it also. So there we go. Okay, cute, cute, huh? Final, oh, got a couple. I lost you guys for a sec there, sorry about that. I think we're good now though, right? Okay, so we're gonna put our sentiment on the back here. They. 
uh, wishing you a little extra of happiness just because you are you. And then finally, we have the Blooming Pearls, which is the free embellishment for the month of, what are we in? December. Free embellishment for the month of December. If you order through me, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or this free embellishment, which these are the beautiful Blooming Pearls. So this one is Petal Pink. I made my little notes right there too. Um, so we're going to put a couple little petal pink ones on there. And then we're going to use just a little teeny tiny. And I had a little spot of ink on that first one, but I kind of liked um, how that worked out anyway. So yeah, I had to add another little, a little dot right there because there was a little bit of ink behind that one. But I'm happy with... Um, how that looks anyway though, right? So those no mistakes, it's an opportunity to embellish. Very, very true in this case right here, right? So, so cute, right? Love the little bunny, super duper duper cute. I hope you guys like that one too. And just a little bit of coloring, not too bad, right? Okay, let's see. Actually, I am gonna clean. I always have to do that, right? Gotta clean my stamps off before I put them back. So. Because you know what will happen. I'll throw my cards in there too. And then um, ink will get on my cards. And then I'll be sad about that. So, Because I don't want to send you a card that doesn't look so good, right? Okay. All right. So there is card number one. Thank you, Philomena. I like it a lot too. I think it is adorable as well. The little bunny for sure. Okay. Next project. We'll scoot this one right over here. So are we all... Yeah, I realized that host code was showing, which probably means you're not seeing the bottom of the grid paper. And you might need to see that too. Okay, so another fun, I'm like all about birthday cards, right? Because you can never have enough birthday cards is how I think. Um, so this is another fun little one, little happy birthday with that little um, kitty cat, right? With the little flower in the pot. And then on the inside, we stamp this. Hope your day is a happy one with more of those little flowers on the inside too. So again, from this Fluffiest friend stamp set. So we're using that cute little guy right there and then that one right there as well. This time we actually used the dies too. So we die cut out the little um, bunny, or I'm sorry, not the bunny, but the little kitty cat there also. Okay, so let me show you this one. Okay, actually, right, we'll scoot that. Get our ink all out. We're gonna do a little more coloring. Again, not too much. Um, so let me tell you dimensions for this one. So this time we start with a pretty peacock card, card base, right? So piece of cardstock along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it, or excuse me, scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So it's a tall, or excuse me, a wide card like that. On the inside, standard four by five and a quarter inch piece is gonna go right inside there. Then, and this is also one of the most basic card layouts that you can do, but it really is fun because it features um, our different designer series paper. So this is actually front and back of the same piece of paper. So we're gonna show that one right there, that piece. So berry burst five by three and three quarters. And then these two pieces of designer series paper are four and three quarters by two inches. And we're gonna put one on the bottom and one on the top, okay? But I love this, like I said, super simple card layout with using the designer series paper on top and bottom with another little mat behind it. So great, kind of simple, easy layout there. And then we just have some extra pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. Okay, so let's do that first of all. We're gonna do our stamping and die cutting. So we are going to, we're just using this piece to die cut our square. So we'll do that in a sec. So we're gonna stamp on these guys right here. Actually, make sure that one goes the correct way. Okay, so let's do this thing on the inside first since I just flipped that open. So again, we are using our Pretty Peacock ink because it matches our Pretty Peacock cardstock. Okay, so we got that one. I'm going to flip that over. Let's try that one more time. There, that's stamped a little bit better. And then we are going to 
Use our black memento. You always want to use your black memento ink when you're coloring with your blends. So we're going to stamp the little flowers right there. Then let's see, do we need, we don't need the pretty peacock anymore. We are going to use our berry burst ink for our sentiment. Our little happy birthday. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down. This might be upside down. It is, but that's all right because we're going to die cut it. Another such cute font on that stamp as well. Okay. And then we've got our little kitty cat holding the flower pot. And I'm going to make sure that my flower pot. Okay. I think we're good. Press firmly. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. We got another good stamped image there. Okay. So I think we're good with those, but I'm going to leave them there just in case, because you never know if I make a mistake, um, it might be helpful <laughs> to, uh, to have those handy and ready to go. Okay. So this one, we just are going to color. Let's do our little flowers first. We'll kind of get in the mood here, right? So I actually used Calypso Coral in the center. You can barely tell though. But we're going to use Calypso Coral Dark in the center of our flower. <clears throat> then we're going to use a Berry Burst. This is the light shade, actually, for our little petals on our flowers. So we're just going to kind of color those in. And maybe we'll come back. We do need to use, let's just do, oops, I got one more. I've got one more flower here. So let's do these. Okay, and then we'll do our little flower on this thing also. Okay. All right, I'm going to do my little Calypso Coral in the center of that little baby right there. And this one, that's the dark, right? Yep. So I want to come back um, <clears throat> for my pot. I'm using my light Calypso Coral all over the pot, and then I'll come back in and shade it with the darker Calypso Coral to kind of make it look a little weathered and worn. So, and they kind of give you right where to do that, right with those little black lines on there. And I kind of went along the top there too. There we go. So fill in that in, then we're gonna come back and kind of blend it a little bit more with that lighter one. That one go in there, right? And then last little bit, we are going to do our leaf in Pretty Peacock. And it's funny, because when I first did that, it was really dark, but this Pretty Peacock tends to kind of lighten up. Because at first I was like, oh no, you can't even see like the little lines um, in the leaves anymore, but it will lighten up and you'll be able to see them a little bit more there. So this is what I'm talking about here, right? Kind of see the flowers there, but then it does, it lightens up a bit. So now I want to use, let's see, this is my dark crumb cake and my light crumb cake. So we are going to actually kind of color all around with our light crumb cake. Oops, I think my head just hit that, didn't it? And because this is light enough, uh, you don't have to worry too, too much about like if you go over some of these other colors, crumb cake is light enough. It might kind of shade things a little bit more, um, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't change the color so much. So as long as you colored those first, so I'm just kind of going back around all the edges, and we're going to fill it in with the other one. Um, Let's see, we'll come back to that one in just a sec. We are going to use our dark to kind of shade in, so our dark crumb cake to shade in the ears. And then I saw this online, I thought it was super cute. Another gal, I, can't, I didn't write down her name, um, but she kind of made him look like he had a stripey tail. And I thought that was a really cute idea. So we're gonna give our guy a little stripey tail there too. So that was with the darker crumb cake. Now I'm gonna come back in with the kind of brush Oops, actually, I want to do this too, though, don't I? So with my dark, I'm going to give his nose a little more color there. Okay. So now we're going to just kind of color. And this is another one that got kind of well-loved um, in class. 
I probably I just need to probably get some new ones, but it's okay. Um, I don't know the blends; they are pretty forgiving, right? So we're gonna just kind of do some light over top of that. Now, what I also did that I thought was kind of cool um, to give a little bit of texture. And I think I did go with the darker. Now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> did I do the dark or did I do the light? I think we're going to try light because I'm scared that maybe I didn't. No, but I think it was the dark. Yep. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. I was trying to remember how I did it, right? Yep. Okay. So we just kind of made all these lines, which it looks funny at first, but when you go back in and kind of blend it, it makes it just look like he's got lots of like texture to his um, coat. So we're just gonna kind of blend over this now with the lighter, right? So then you can kind of still see, and you can do this as much as you need to, to kind of blend out those little strokes there, right? You see how that kind of all isn't that cool? Kind of all fades together there. We're going to do a little bit more on his tail. And I like his toes to be a little bit darker too. So we're going to give him a little bit of dark there, but then we are going to go back and blend one more time with our light. There. Okay. All right. I think we have a pretty cute little furry kitty cat there, huh? Okay. So yeah, you could keep going with the blending too, but we'll stop there for now. But you get kind of the idea of it, right? Okay, so now we're gonna do our die cutting. Mm, oh my gosh, I worked out this morning. <laughs> my body is very stiff today. I noticed it before I even started. <laughs> like even moving around right now, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's a lot, there are a lot of creaks, creaks and cracks going on in this body right now. Okay. All right. So we need, so again, stylish shapes. I love these dies. If you guys have to have these dies by now, right? They're, they're definitely an oldie, but a goodie. And I use them all the time with the little stitching around the edges. And then I showed you guys those dies. Where did they go? Right, right here. Yes. Okay. So we're going to use from the fluffiest friends dies. We've got all of these dies here that coordinate with the stamp set. So this you can kind of see is the little kitty cat. So we're gonna use this one on him. So you could stamp these images right on um, the paper like I did on the last one, or you can stamp them and die cut. So you guys know this, right? You can't fight the magnetic field. You just have to move your paper. And sometimes it's more futzy than others. And since I don't have a lot of room, and of course, because I'm on Facebook Live, this magnetic field is going to give me troubles in ways that it might not otherwise when I'm not on Facebook Live, right? But I think we're good. Okay. So we're going to crank this baby through here. <clears throat> and again, take a peek at all of the little stitching, right? A little happy birthday, so cute, huh? And our little kitty cat, isn't that perfect? Ooh, yeah, I did a good job on die cutting that one too. And then just our square, right? With our little um, stitching on those edges there too, okay? There we go, get this guy out of the way. All right, so we can put our second project together. See, we need some ribbon too, don't we? Okay, so we are going to put, and it doesn't really matter because they're <laughs> they're the same. So we're going to put adhesive on the back of both of these, as long as you do one of each, on this beautiful, delightful floral designer series paper, actually. So we're going to do the green. I'm going to say, is it granny apple green? Or maybe lemon lime twist? I'm not sure that one on first but I love isn't that so just such pretty paper right we're going to add a little strip of our pecan pie ribbon I thought it kind of went well with our um kitty cat my scissors I thought I had those here <laughs> seriously I'm like not moving quickly at all today ladies like my body is just like ur, ur, ur. <laughs> so creaky oh my goodness 
I need like an Epsom salt bath or something. Something. Definitely need some help, that's for sure. Okay. All right. So are you guys getting all ready for Christmas? Can you believe, what is it? Maybe like, well, 10 days, right? Because today's the 15th. 10 days from now, it will be here. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping to get presents wrapped this weekend. Let's see, there's the back side. There we go. Yeah, every year I tell my kids, oh, you know, we're not gonna do too much. And then, <laughs> then I look at, and the kind of nice thing is, well, I guess in some ways, right? My kids are off at college right now, so I don't have to hide anything. So it's all just laying out on Lily's bed upstairs. Um, so it's kind of a good way for me to check in and make sure, right, that I'm, I always, you know, you have to be even, right, with the with the gifts between the kids. Okay, so we're just putting dimensionals on the back of all these things. And you guys see, right, how much the blends bleed through. So always make sure you have a little work surface. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing, oops, Oh, and you know I don't like adhesive on my grid paper, so we're going to peel that right off. But I put one dimensional here and then just some adhesive on that side so that I don't have a lopsided sentiment, right? So we've got our little bunny there. Or not, why do I keep calling it a bunny? The bunny was on the last one, Amy. There we go, our little happy birthday right there. We are going to add adhesive to the inside. So again, you can see, well, this one was a bad stamp, had to redo, but that is, those are the blends popping through, peeking through, bleeding through, right? Okay, and then lastly, you know, I always have to add a little bit of bling to the project. So we have, these are the Tinsel Gems, the four pack, okay? And again, don't forget, I will include um, everything that I used on these projects on my blog this afternoon. So we're gonna use, it's kind of a yellow, maybe, maybe, Lemon Lime Twist or Lemon Lolly. And then we've got some pink. I don't remember the colors, but I just, I did think that they looked pretty good, um, you know, in terms of coordinating colors. I think you can kind of, I always say, you can kind of bend our embellishments to be the colors you need them. They kind of do that, right? When you put them on your projects, they take on the colors. So even if those aren't Berry Burst, they kind of look like Berry Burst when they're with the Berry Burst cardstock or designer series paper, right? Okay, so here I am rambling on and on and on, ready to go sit down and like <laughs> rest my weary body, I think. Oh my goodness. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. Don't forget, if you put an online order through me, you are gonna get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the year to celebrate stamp set. You also get to pick from the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial. Free embellishment this month is the Blooming Pearls or the PDF tutorial plus December only you get, I've got my little stash here, five free cards and a sampler of six by six designer series paper. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you use this host code right here if you would like to order online through me. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me all year long. I can't believe we've another year, another year has come and gone, right? 2023, we will be back live at the end of the month, two weeks from today on Friday, December 29th. So I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas. Uh, relax, enjoy yourself with family, friends, whoever you're able to spend time with. Thank you guys so very much. All right, we'll see you guys in two weeks. All right, Merry Christmas. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.